their main priority. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner put on a united front for parent duties amid claims she's furious over his involvement in groping scandal. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner put on a united front on Friday amid allegations the actor groped several women. Back on parenting duty, the former couple arrived together to a private event in Los Angeles but left separately. The duo, who are parents to Violet, 11, Serafina, 8, and Samuel, 5, were dressed smartly for the meeting which apparently involved parents from different schools in the area. Garner was all business wearing a black turtleneck and smart trousers while Ben donned a blazer over a button-up shirt and slacks. Ben and Jen's divorce was finalized in April of this year after separating in 2015 and Ben is now dating producer Lindsay Shukus, 37. The outing came after Ben publicly apologized and admitted to acting inappropriately after actress Hilary Burton accused him of groping her breast on a 2003 episode of TRL. Two other groping-related incidents have since come to light. Garner, 45, is said to be furious that her ex is now embroiled in such a scandal. A source told E! News on Thursday that the 45-year-old actress is very annoyed because it just means more attention on her and the kids as a result of Ben's actions. She tries to shield them from any and all publicity and scrutiny. She's taking her kids to school and to all of their activities. As far as they know nothing has changed and all is well. That is always her goal but she's been pretty frustrated with him. Burton, a former TRL host and One Tree Hill star, shared the allegations on Tuesday night just hours after a flat made a statement condemning Harvey Weinstein's alleged abusive actions in his sexual assault and harassment scandal. In it a flex said he was saddened and angry over the sickening claims. The flex statement was quickly slammed by a number of people, including Weinstein accuser Rose McGowan, who called a fleck a liar. When a fan tweeted that a fleck might as well have kept quiet, another Twitter user wrote, he also grabbed Hillary Burton's breasts on TRL once. Everyone forgot though. The actress then surprised the Twitter thread by interjecting with, I didn't forget. TV host Anne-Marie Lossig, whose 2004 interview with Ben Affleck recently went viral, claimed Wednesday that she was not a victim of harassment. This was for the camera. You have to understand that we have done dozens and dozens of interviews like that. It was for a show I was producing, so I was not at all a victim, Lossig told The Hollywood Reporter. Lossik said the interview was just an act and as soon as the cameras stopped, there was none of that. He never touched me in any improper way. He was very respectful, the Canadian host said, adding that she's not thrilled to have the interview mixed in with the sexual harassment allegations against Weinstein because she doesn't think that is at all the same thing. The same day a makeup artist has claimed that a fleck grabbed her asterisk asterisk while they were attending a Golden Globes party. Anna Marie Tendler, who is the author of The Daily Face and Pin It, tweeted Wednesday afternoon demanding an apology from the actor over the alleged incident. The fleck finally responded to the assault allegations against Weinstein five days after they broke. The producer backed to Fleck and Matt Damon's screenplay for Good Will Hunting. The Fleck said that he was saddened and angry over the claims but did not explicitly say that he was previously unaware of the claims made about Weinstein. He wrote, I am saddened and angry that a man who I worked with used his position of power to intimidate, sexually harass and manipulate many women over decades. The additional allegations of assault that I read this morning made me sick. This is completely unacceptable and I find myself asking what I can do to make sure this doesn't happen to others. We need to do better at protecting our sisters, friends, co-workers and daughters. We must support those who come forward, condemn this type of behavior when we see it and help ensure there are more women in positions of power. More than a dozen women have now said Weinstein sexually harassed or assaulted them. 
The incidents described range from propositions, unwanted groping to forced s.